Welcome to Globe Brief Updates. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Headlines announce the Philippines' economic boom and massive infrastructure push. But this isn't just news, it's cranes at sunrise, the roar of machinery, and a nation physically reshaping itself. Today, we'll explore the 10 most shocking megaprojects set to transform the Philippines by 2030. From subways beneath Manila to world-class airports, let's dive into the future being built right now. Metro Manila's traffic is legendary, a daily struggle for millions. Every morning and evening the city's main roads become rivers of red brake lights with commuters spending hours just to travel a few kilometers. The congestion isn't just an inconvenience, it affects productivity, family time, and even the air people breathe. Enter the Metro Manila subway project, the country's first underground railway, and a long-awaited answer to the city's transportation woes. This ambitious project marks a turning point in how Filipinos will move around their capital. Stretching 33 kilometers from Quezon City all the way to the airport, the subway will connect 17 stations across key business, residential, and commercial districts. It's designed to link the north and south of the metropolis, making travel faster and more convenient for everyone. Imagine crossing the metropolis in minutes, not hours. What once took up to two hours by car could soon be a quick, comfortable train ride, redefining what's possible for daily commuters. Massive tunnel boring machines funded and supported by Japan are already at work beneath the city. These engineering marvels are carving out the subway's path with Filipino and Japanese engineers working side by side to bring this vision to life. Once operational, this subway will serve over half a million passengers every single day. By taking thousands of cars off the road, it will help ease congestion and reduce the city's notorious air pollution, making Manila a healthier place to live. But it's more than just a train. It's the backbone of a new integrated rail network. The subway will connect with other major train lines creating a seamless web of transportation options for the entire region. The subway will link with the MRT, LRT and the North-South Commuter Railway, allowing passengers to transfer easily between lines. This means less waiting, less hassle, and more time for what matters most. Partial operations are set to begin soon, with full completion targeted before the decade ends. Each milestone brings the city closer to a future where efficient public transport is a reality, not just a dream. This project is a bold solution to Manila's biggest challenge. It's a massive investment in the city's future, aiming to solve problems that have plagued generations. But it's not just about infrastructure, it's about transforming daily life. For millions, the subway means more time with family, less stress, and new opportunities across the city. Manila is digging deep, both literally and figuratively, building a future where mobility is no longer a barrier. The city is investing in progress, determined to rise above its challenges. The subway is a symbol of ambition, innovation, and hope for a better tomorrow. It represents the dreams of a city ready to embrace change and move forward. It's the start of a new era for the city, a time when public transport can finally keep up with the pace of urban life and when every journey is a little bit easier. The ground is moving, literally and figuratively. As the city transforms, so do the lives of its people, with every tunnel dug and every station built. Manila's future is on the move. The subway is more than a project. It's a promise of progress, connecting people, places, and possibilities for generations to come. The new Manila International Airport in Bulacan is redefining the country's gateway to the world. As the Philippines continues to grow and modernize, this ambitious project stands as a symbol of progress and innovation, aiming to transform the way Filipinos and international travelers experience air travel. Built on an impressive 2,500 hectares, the airport is four times the size of Monaco, making it one of the largest infrastructure projects in Southeast Asia. It's designed as a full aerotropolis, a city built around aviation, integrating business, leisure and logistics into one dynamic hub. With four parallel runways expandable to six in the future and terminals capable of handling up to 100 million passengers annually, the NMIA is set to rival the world's busiest airports. Its advanced design ensures smooth passenger flow, efficient operations, and world-class amenities for travelers. Land reclamation and cutting-edge green technology are at the heart of the project, ensuring both resilience against climate change and long-term sustainability. The airport will feature eco-friendly systems, energy-efficient buildings, and sustainable transport options. High-speed expressways and modern rail links will connect the airport directly to Metro Manila and beyond drastically reducing travel time and making the airport easily accessible for millions of people across Luzon. This massive project is expected to create millions of jobs for Filipinos, from construction to hospitality, and will significantly boost tourism, logistics, and business opportunities throughout the region. It's a bold statement to the world. The Philippines is ready to become a true global hub, connecting Asia to the rest of the world with pride and efficiency.
The NMIA is more than just an airport. It's the country's new front door, welcoming visitors and returning Filipinos with open arms and a vision for the future. It's about embracing the world, fostering new connections, and unlocking the nation's vast potential for growth, innovation, and prosperity. The future of Philippine aviation starts here, at the new Manila International Airport, a gateway to endless possibilities and a brighter tomorrow. The South Luzon Expressway, or SLEX, is the lifeline connecting Metro Manila to Southern Luzon. As the region grows, SLEX is expanding, new lanes, upgraded tolls, and major extensions. TR4 will stretch SLEX to Lucena City, slashing travel times and boosting trade. TR5 aims to extend the expressway 420 kilometers to the southern tip of Luzon, unifying the island's economy. These projects connect economic zones, tourist spots, and agricultural centers like never before. SLEX's evolution reflects the country's growth and commitment to modern infrastructure. Electronic tolls and constant upgrades keep this artery flowing. For millions, SLEX's transformation is as vital as any futuristic project. It's the backbone of daily life and commerce in Luzon. The North-South Commuter Railway stands as the Philippines' most ambitious and transformative rail project to date, representing a bold leap forward in the nation's transportation landscape. Spanning an impressive 147 kilometers from New Clark City in the north all the way to Calamba in the south, this railway is set to become the new iron spine of Luzon, connecting distant communities and bustling cities like never before. Decades in the making, the NSCR is now finally coming to life, thanks to major international funding and technical expertise, particularly from Japan, which has played a crucial role in its development. Once completed, the railway will connect 35 modern stations, seamlessly integrate with the upcoming Metro Manila subway, and is projected to serve up to 800,000 passengers every single day, easing congestion and making daily commutes faster and more comfortable. State-of-the-art electric trains will glide along elevated viaducts, offering a safe, efficient, and environmentally friendly way to travel, transforming mobility for an estimated 35 million people across Luzon. The project also involves sensitive relocation efforts for affected communities and massive engineering feats, including the construction of bridges, tunnels, and elevated tracks, all designed to minimize disruption and maximize long-term benefits. By linking Clark International Airport directly to Metro Manila, the NSCR will not only decentralize economic growth, but also spur new development in the provinces, creating jobs and opportunities far beyond the capital. The NSCR is more than just a set of tracks. It's a unified corridor of opportunity, designed to connect people, businesses, and entire regions, fostering greater inclusivity and progress. It's about rebuilding and modernizing the nation's railways for the 21st century, replacing outdated infrastructure with world-class systems that can stand the test of time. This is the ultimate connector, stitching together the diverse landscapes of Luzon, from urban centers to rural heartlands, and making travel more accessible for everyone. The impact of the NSCR will be felt for generations to come, as families experience safer, faster, and more reliable journeys, and children grow up with a new vision of what Philippine transport can be. The future of Philippine transport is truly on track, and the North-South Commuter Railway is leading the way toward a brighter, more connected tomorrow. The NAIA Expressway, or NIAX, solved the nightmare of airport traffic in Metro Manila. This 12.65-kilometer elevated highway links NAIA's terminals to major city thoroughfares. It weaves above the chaos, slashing travel times from over an hour to under 20 minutes. NIAX is a marvel of urban engineering threading through dense cityscapes. Its immediate impact transformed travel for tourists and business alike. NIAX set the standard for targeted high-impact infrastructure. It's proof that smart design can solve even the toughest urban challenges. Sometimes the best solutions are right above our heads. Manila isn't just building up, it's building into the sea. The Manila Bay Reclamation is creating thousands of hectares of new land, redrawing the city's coastline. Projects like Horizon Manila and Pasay Harbor City envision green, walkable communities and business hubs on reclaimed islands. These multi-billion dollar ventures are transforming Manila's waterfront into a modern district. Environmental concerns are real, but the engineering is bold dredging, seawalls, and new urban landscapes. Artist renderings show a futuristic Manila rising from the bay. It's a dramatic controversial transformation, creating new territory for a growing city. Manila Bay's future is being built, one island at a time. Cebu City's North Reclamation Area is a model of urban transformation. Once industrial land, it's now a booming commercial and lifestyle hub. Landmarks like SM City Cebu and Robinson's Galleria anchor a district filled with offices, condos, and a new ferry terminal. The NRA's success has sparked even more ambitious projects and better road links to the airport and port. Its waterfront location is key for logistics and future tourism. The NRA shows how strategic reclamation can create a vibrant new city center. 
Cebu's vision is inspiring other cities across the Philippines, the Queen City is building its own new frontier, the world is watching Cebu's rise. Central Luzon, the nation's rice granary, is now connected by the Central Luzon Link Expressway, or CLX. The first phase links Tarlac to Cabanatuan, cutting travel time from 70 to just 20 minutes. For farmers and businesses, this means faster, fresher deliveries and more efficient trade. Collects is built to international standards with interchanges and toll-free sections. Future phases will extend the expressway, integrating more agricultural centers. It's part of a larger web of expressways supporting regional growth. Collex is a quiet revolution, practical, impactful, and essential. It's infrastructure that feeds the nation. In Mindanao, the San Ramon Newport project is unlocking Zamboanga's potential. This brand new deep water port will handle the largest container ships, boosting trade with Southeast Asia. The initial phase features a modern container terminal and efficient logistics systems. The port will lower shipping costs, create jobs, and support Mindanao's industries. Plans include bulk cargo, fishing, and even cruise terminals. San Ramon is a multi-purpose maritime hub for the region's future. It's a strategic investment in inclusive national development. Mindanao's economic engine is revving up. Davao City's bypass project is conquering mountains to ease urban congestion. The highlight, the country's first long-distance mountain tunnel, 2.3 kilometers through rugged terrain. This 45.5-kilometer road will divert traffic from downtown, cutting travel times nearly in half. Japanese technology and expertise are driving this engineering feat. The bypass will improve logistics, reduce pollution, and open new areas for growth. It's a landmark in Philippine road construction. Davao is literally reshaping its landscape for a better future. Building smarter, not just bigger. 10 mega projects, one vision, a better, more connected Philippines. These aren't just structures, they're the nation's dreams made real. The challenges are real, but so is the momentum. This is about leaping forward, not just catching up. By 2030, the Philippines will be defined by the connections it's built, not the barriers it faced. Travel and opportunity will be redefined for every Filipino. The story is still unfolding and the best is yet to come. The future is being built right before our eyes.